It's time for the NFC Championship, and the road to a Super Bowl goes through Green Bay. It's the Bears and the Packers on Sunday night primetime. The playoffs are back at Lambeau, and the Timps, well, they're where you would expect them in the frigid range. Just how the cheeseheads like it here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Coming up, a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl, and we've got a potential classic in store, as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Green Bay Packers. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And, man, it is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you, but my butterflies in my stomach... Bears are starting with the football. will probably be a little bit tentative to start this out as Greg Gray is going to take it from the three-yard line. I hate that low pickup animation, and Greg Gray is stopped prior to getting to the 25. I'm sorry, the kicker's hurt? The kicker got hurt on the kickoff. What an interesting start to this game, and that could really throw a wrench into things. Not sure who's going to be the uh, the backup kicker. You'd think it'd be the punter, and you'd think they'd be able to get by, but who knows. So a first down run for Sidney Kramer. Rashawn Gary was in pursuit. And Kramer just got popped hard by Cameron Kitchens. But a gain of three. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about throwing the ball with that plus five play recognition. I think it's going to be uh, tough throwing pretty much all game. Looking in the direction of Cole Komet. He's got it. Breaks a tackle. And he's got a first down for Chicago. So Caleb Williams completes his first pass. Very good. I see Quay Walker creeping up towards the line. He is not coming on a blitz. Looking over the middle, I wanted the guy coming across the field, but that's complete to Malik Neighbors. Some zone coverage, and nobody picked up Neighbors. Good pass protection on that play. Hand off to Kramer. I tried to go to the outside. That ain't going to work out. Quay Walker and N'Kobe Dean. Get Kramer for a loss of one. It's a one yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Don't worry, Ty J. Spears is still here. Kramer, short gain, four yards, leaves third and seven from the 37. Another tackle for N'Kobe Dean. I like having N'Kobe Dean on my side, the tackle machine, it seems. Looking over the middle, that's open. Emeka Abuka is a little bit behind him, but Emeka Abuka is down the sideline and in the end zone. Where did that come from? Just on a little drag. He should have been caught. So much for that plus five play recognition. And now Joshua Cardi. Uh, I was wrong. It's not a snow game, but it is frigid. <laughs> You see the breast of the players there. Only a six-play drive. Stonehouse sends it deep. Who's returning kicks for them? It is the third-string running back, Fells. We should see him on the uh, on the carry a few times today. And here comes the rookie. Dylan Riola, 3,800 yards, 33 touchdowns, 8 picks this sim. It's a better season than Caleb Williams had. So I am very worried. No rookie quarterback has ever won the Super Bowl. Well, he's he's trying to be the first then. Riola with Benson in the backfield. First down, it's a throw over the middle. And he got met by Tyreek Stevenson. Riola starts the NFC title game with a three-yard completion. This feels like a run with Trey Benson. See if I'm right. It is. Montez Sweat was out there. Benson cut it up into where Sweat was. Good job to hit that hole, but only gained a yard. Linebackers were sitting there waiting. Raiola likely to pass on third and six. He will. 
Pass protection, good route, and that's a first down. No, he dropped it. Tyreek Stevenson, or was that Clifford? That forced the drop on Romeo Dobbs. And now Whalen will send it away. Greg Gray gets some good punt coverage. Oh, jeez. Well, I thought so. N'Kobe Dean just didn't get blocked. So Chicago with the ball again. A real chance here. I'm going to send Ibuka deep, see where that safety goes. Ameka Ibuka on the run. Incomplete. A little bit too much air under there. Cameron Kitchens was able to get over. Figured I'd take the shot. We haven't seen press coverage a lot. So second and ten, Sidney Kramer to the outside. Rashawn Gary. We're going to want to run... I think to the left today. That's unfortunate. Got to go over the middle. It's caught by Cole Komet. Safety couldn't commit as Evan Stewart was coming across the middle as well. Second catch for Komet. Ten minutes into this NFC title game. Bears lead 7-0. Sidney Kramer now has five carries for zero yards. So, in an effort to try and get the running game going, we are going to put Ty J. Spears number one on the depth chart. That means he's going to be the only running back that gets plays, but got to see if something works. Second and 12, Spears to the outside. I'm running at Rashawn Gary again. Spears makes N'Kobe Dean miss, makes it third and much more manageable after a gain of seven for Tajay Spears. Talented corner Jair Alexander on the stop, third and five. Linebackers are blitzing, looking for Irv Smith, incomplete. Quay Walker just basically touched Irv Smith, was enough to force... And incompletion, and now we got to try and pin Green Bay deep here. Stonehouse gets it away, and it might be a dandy of a punt, and, well, thought it was going to be even better. Had a little bit too much gas on it, but it is out of bounds at the five, so a long, long field upcoming for Green Bay. Trey Benson with two tight ends to the left. Riola under center. It's a handoff to Benson. Tried to truck before he was even there, and that's a tackle for Bryce Kaiser. Good to see him involved early. And that was a nice tackle, too. No, no funny business happened after that. That was what I was really worried about. That's another handoff for Benson. Breaks through into the secondary. Jaquan Brisker and TJ Edwards. Bringing him down. We have a third down and short. Safety's lined up against Benson's all the way back here. Gotta love that. That is incomplete. Mike Sainer still came up and disrupted that. No idea how. It's almost, I think it missed the receiver. It bounced off Sainer still's hands. So Whalen from his own end zone. Greg Gray, that's a bomb of a kick. Greg Gray gets some blocks this time. Tried to cut it upfield. But regardless, good starting field position for Chicago. Green Bay offense not looking like they're going to do much. But I think that has more to do with the boost to play recognition for both defenses. It's a handoff to Tajay Spears. N'Kobe Dean just got pancaked. That was one hell of a block, but Quay Walker comes over and makes a nice tackle. Second and five, no blitz. Abuka to the outside. He's got it. First down. Caleb Williams over 100 yards already of, on five of seven passing. Makes you wonder what the Lions did as Spears is to the outside. Can he make the safety miss? He can. Rashawn Gary trying to chase him down, but he cannot. Long touchdown run for Tajay Spears. 
Like, you take me out of the game and put the rookie in there? <laughs> Show you that was a mistake. Spears with a long one. Earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. I saw Rashawn Gary coming after me. I was getting real scared, but Spears, even though his speed's not great, you'd think he'd have the speed to beat out a beat out a uh, defensive end. Cardi's PAT will be good. It's 14 nothing Chicago. I'm sorry, they gave the Heisman to Jaden Daniels. What? Come on. The Bears send the kicking team out. Ah. Oh. will send this one away. Michael Penix Jr. robbed. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback. Raiders legend Michael Penix Jr. Robbed of the Heisman, as is Marvin Harrison Jr. Right now, they're in some uncharted waters, Charles. They haven't been facing deficits like this this season. We're going to see what they're made of. And I think the, the easy thing right now is for us to discuss how the home crowd... Let the people vote for Heisman. Bottom line, though, they've got to make plays... Anyway, back to the matter at hand. First down, Green Bay from the 25. That is incomplete. Mike Sainer still is causing some issues for the receivers on the outside. For the conference championship game, see if they can propel themselves to the Super Bowl. Empty backfield for Riola on second and ten. Makes me love my play call even more. That is caught, Christian Watson. All right. Well, the first time we've seen really that mobility from Dylan Riola. Nice job extending that play. Trying to set up to cut this inside. I got a weird animation. Pressure is coming. TJ Edwards got picked off, and that is intercepted. Tyreek Stevenson with the interception. And this Green Bay offense, they're not like the Lions. They're not like that. Bears defense just doing a good job right now as Spears gets taken down. After a gain of three by N'Kobe Dean. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Here's second and seven. Second and seven. Just shy of midfield. Williams has to scramble on the run. That's to Cole Komet. That is a defensive tackle I just tried to truck. <laughs> no idea what big old 97's doing back there. <laughs> so I thought I was thought I was getting ready to truck a corner as fucking defensive tackle weighing 300 pounds. Spears on the run. Nakobe Dean just ran right past everything. Spears for the first down to the 17. Bears in the red zone again. Our first trip to the red zone. Williams on play action, looking for Komet. That's probably a bad decision. No! Cole Komet made the catch. What is his pass coverage from Green Bay? That was not, not a great decision to throw to Komet there. Cardi's PAT, good. And the Packers are down very similarly to the Detroit Lions. But I tell you, I think they're they're at least the throws are accurate. The receivers just are not helping out Riola. They're getting spooked by the our fourth corner. Bizarre. This is that's a mistake. Don't bring everybody. Empty backfield for Riola. That would have been a touchdown. That is caught. Jaden Reed. I'm really surprised that ball didn't get knocked out by Terrell Edmonds. Seven passes. Not much success in the passing game. Throwing. Oh, I thought that was intercepted. It's not. And it's Romeo Dobbs. 
for a long play for Green Bay. There's the life. Oh, God. I can't get the fucking player I want. To the flat. Trey Benson. Can't make a man miss. That's a loss of two. Rayola, five of nine. I think I saw 52 yards. Fullback in the game. Benson up the middle. He's got blocks. That is probably a touchdown saving tackle for Chris. Actually, that was Derek Moore. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase. I was 95, not 94. And Benson stop shy. Tremaine Edmonds. Packers will go for it on fourth down and one. Could be a huge play. Montez Sweat in there, and Benson is down. This pack or this Bears defense is doing a phenomenal job against this Packers offense right now. Spears to the outside. There's Cameron Kinchins again with Trey Walker. Or Quay Walker. Second and 11, empty backfield for Williams. I like the route to Evan Stewart if the coverage allows. It ain't gonna. Williams to throw. Walker at his back turn. And Caleb Williams with a nice run. 20 yards up to the 41. I did that uh, in practice mode a little bit on that same play. You let the receiver do the hitch in his route and then go upfield. And then the then that linebacker gets his back turned. And if there's space up the middle, I mean you can you can break some big plays. As long as you have a quarterback with speed. It's the fourth tackle for Nico, uh, Nicobe Dean, second and eight. I think we run this, make this the last play of the quarter. Ty J Spears. Could not make the safety miss that time. But it is a first down. And 21 0 at the end of quarter number one. Wow. Just a just a shocking start to this game, really. I did not expect. Gotta go down low. Intercepted. Jair Alexander. Caleb Williams gonna make the touchdown saving tackle. Was too far away from that route to get that ball there in time, and that is an interception. So that flips this game on its head, gives Green Bay a little bit of life. Throwing, I switched to the wrong player, but it didn't matter. Ryola missed him. I didn't want Jaquan Brisker there. Second and ten. Throwing, caught, Romeo Dobbs down to the one. Mike Sainer still the first first time he's really been uh, beat all game. First and goal from the one. Riola with Trey Benson. It is Benson to the outside. The blocks didn't hold up, and that's a tackle. For Jaquan Brisker. What's going on, Pat? <clears throat> yeah. Jaden fucking Daniels. I saw the group chat. Not thrilled about that. Second and goal from the one. Can the Bears hold the Packers out? Benson. Nope. Touchdown, Green Bay. Trey Benson. So the Packers get a touchdown off the turnover. And Whalen, remember, this is the punter. Their kicker got hurt on the opening kickoff. Whalen is able to boot it through. So it's not as big of an issue for Green Bay as it could have been as Greg Gray gets his second chance at a return here. And we went, we went right at number 17, who's having a fucking game. Williams in this offense back out. Our first real hurdle of the entire game on that last drive as Spears with a nice run of seven yards. 
Nine carries, 89 yards when we couldn't run the ball worth a damn with Sidney Kramer. Looking, Cole Komet, he's got it. Room to run. Out to the 41. This Packers defense is leaving guys open on every single pass play. So much for that boost in play recognition. Matt Sawyer motions. Spears up the gut. Trying to follow blocks. Got glued to my center. Might have even been Nate Davis. I don't know. Second and eight. Evan Stewart might be wide open if those linebackers don't drop. Oh, no. They didn't. Okay, we got to dump that off. And it's behind Tajay Spears. Third down and eight. Say it was behind Spears. I mean, he just kept running. You just got to get to that spot and stop. Williams trying to find Evan Stewart, and you got to get over there. You got to make one step to shuffle over and get that ball, and Evan Stewart did not. Stonehouse sends it away. I didn't take the wind into account, so this might not be great. Or it might be really great. That is going to check up at the two. I didn't put any backspin on that. That's a nice pun out of Ryan Stonehouse. We are winning the field position battle for sure. Second time. Green Bay started to drive inside the five. Oh, Trey Benson still moving. Oh, Montez Sweat nearly got him. The shiftiness of number three in green. Tyreek Stevenson on the stop, his first tackle. Riola on play action. It's to the outside and Benson. And that's a nice play. Guess who? Bryce Kaiser. Second catch for Benson for negative three yards. Will he run it? No, play action over the middle. It's caught, Jaden Reed. Riolo over 100 yards now. Second catch for 28 yards for the Michigan State Spartan. Jaden Reed and, oh, my goodness, Tyreek Stevenson. Almost picked that off. Raiola's accuracy must not be very great. Oh yeah, I mean he's just just inaccurate all over. That intended for Reed again. Third down and ten. Backfield is empty, and Montez Sweat has all of his points over there. Raiola over the middle, underthrown. He threw it on the run. Punting is Whalen. Nice job to start this game by this Bears defense. Gray on the return. Could not get the edge. So Caleb Williams back out on the field. I'm going to send Emeka Ibuka deep. Watch where that safety goes. Looking for Ibuka. Looped it over, but what a play. That was Fox. Oh, getting complete passes on those throws is very, very difficult. Oh, Jesus, that should be picked. However, that was a defensive tackle, Kenny Clark. These coverages are not ones we see very often. I've, <laughs> I don't see uh, defensive tackles drop back into coverage very often. Over the middle, that's not a great ball, but it's caught by Evan Stewart. And now Kenny Clark, who just made that nice pass deflection, is to the sideline. Forgot about the deadline. What deadline? 
So into Packer territory now. Here's first and ten. At the a catch for Evan Stewart to get a first down. Oh! Yeah! I didn't really forget about it. Pretty much the only NXT pay-per-view that I show or that I watch is uh, a stand and deliver right before WrestleMania. Spears. I, yeah, I definitely hit the wrong hole there. Third down and four. Might just be in Joshua Cardi's field goal range. Already, if we don't get that, Williams going to scramble. That's to Cole Komet, and it's behind him. Well, I think we try a long one. A 58-yard field goal. He's got the leg. Uh, I might have missed it left. Maybe the wind will take it back, and it does. 58-yarder for Joshua Cardi. It is a three-score game again. Joshua Cardi, just a late bloomer. He's probably not going to win kicker of the year in our team of the year voting. But my goodness. <clears throat> Good from 65. He's He hit a 65-yarder in the 2026 postseason. 99 kick power for our kicker, Joshua Cardi. There's Trey Benson. Uh-oh. Still fighting. Benson is just nuts. We fucked that up big time, but... Break tackle after break tackle. Yeah, it's just the accuracy that's a little bit rough for Joshua Cardi. He's only got like 86 accuracy, but 99 kick power. Riola. Running for his life and throwing it away. Derek Moore in his face. Scrambled to the side of the field where there was nobody over there. But, however, Montez Sweat wasn't really going to give him a choice. That is dropped. Romeo Dobbs and another nice play in pass coverage for Mike Sainra still. That's about the third incompletion he's forced here in this game. Third and ten from the 39. Green Bay, kind of lifeless in this game, but that's caught. Christian Watson, first down. To the Bears, 38. Just a little bit too much separation. Riola with Benson once again. Throwing a deep ball. That should be intercepted, and it is. Jalen Johnson. Don't have the space to take it all the way back. Yeah, I don't know why it says that. It's everyone that completes the survey uh, tells them they scored a zero, and I'm like, that's not really the point. Second interception thrown by Dominic Riola. There it is. I did it. Dylan Riola. Tajay Spears just got met by Rashawn Gary for a loss of four. Well, hopefully you broke some ties. I'll have to check the results a little bit later. In the direction of Cole Komet. He hung on. First down. 10 of 18 for Caleb Williams. Over 200 yards. After that game in Detroit, where Williams, both quarterbacks, just stunk up the place. Uh-oh. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, after that Detroit game, Caleb Williams has turned it on. Second down, we're going to try and send Abuka deep again, but they've covered this well both times I've tried. Abuka breaks free, looking, knocked away, man. Fox, it's like their fourth best corner. He's right on Abuka's hip. I've been trying to lob it the whole game. That wasn't working, so I tried a bullet pass, and it couldn't get over. Third and 15. 
Looking in the direction of Emeka Abuka. He's got it. Turning it upfield. Breaking one tackle and forced out of bounds. So to the red zone. Go the Bears. 20 rushes, 20 passes. Spears up the middle. There's Quay Walker again. Spears nearing 100 yards rushing. Didn't get a carry till halfway through the first. It was our second or third drive that we put uh, Spears in the game over Sidney Kramer. That's caught. What might be the first catch it is for Malik Neighbors. Looking for Spears out of the backfield, but we got options if that's not open. Williams to scramble, crossing the middle, and that's intercepted by Quay Walker. Threw it behind him. Crossed our body, never a good throw to make, and we just made it. So another turnover, two turnovers for both quarterbacks now. That's thrown, caught, Romeo Dobbs. I was really expecting more of a fight out of Dylan Raiola. 20-yard completion. Hand off, Benson breaks one tackle. Tyreek Stevenson will bring him down at the 36 after a gain of seven. Bring in Byard. Can I move Brisker over, please? Quick throw. That's intercepted. Kevin Byard. <laughs> I put him exactly where the ball went. I just brought him in and left him. Spears. Nowhere to go. He snuck free somehow to fight for two yards. That contract is insane. $250 million more than anybody else had ever got. Flag on the play as it's caught by Komet. Right now, it'll be third and one. Roughing the passer. So first down to Chicago. Yaya Black. So Charles, this a defense that hasn't made a lot of mistakes like this on the road to this playoff matchup, but that a bad one there. Yeah, you definitely want to rattle and shake up the other. Might be able to get this inside of two minutes to play. Williams is going to have to toss that to the sideline. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here. This close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. And a smart play there. He's probably saying. Voters got it wrong again. Last drive instead of throwing the interception. If they wanted to give it to Penix, I was fine with that. And I knew Marvin Harrison Jr. wasn't going to win that, but still. Williams on the scramble. That ain't the best throw. And it's a toe-tap interception by Jair Alexander. Oh, my God. What a pick. I tried to make it so if I missed, I wasn't going to throw an interception. And that was the exact opposite thing that happened. 12th carry for Benson. He's up to 50 yards. I don't know why I called that. Two-minute warning has been reached. Wouldn't have mattered anyway. 24-7. to The play recognition really only seems to be helping us. We're, our offense just slightly under its usual pace. So now Riola with Leonard Taylor in pursuit, but that's a wide open Christian Watson. Crossing midfield to the 47. 31-yard gain. Green Bay does get the ball to start the second half. It's a screen. TJ Edwards and Mike Sainer still again combining on a nice play. They hurry to the line. That ain't great for us. We still got that zone on. Second down and four. Again, wide open. That's Romeo Dobbs. Missed a tackle. Romeo Dobbs for the end zone, and he's in. We somehow missed one tackle, and then they got blocks, and more tackles got missed. 
And Romeo Dobbs is in the end zone. Charles, that's a pretty good response from a rookie quarterback. He's had his struggles in this game, including the interception on the last drive, but there he takes him down the field. Jaquan Brisker just whiffed, and that sent Dobbs on the run. His resiliency, because let's face it, when things are going bad and you're a youngster, they often continue to go bad. But in his mind and his actions, so now that the vote totals have been released. Good Lord. Jaden Daniels got 503 votes. Penix, 292. Bo Nix, only 51. And I don't have a vote total for Marv. Greg Gray from the goal line. Bears have a minute and 23 to work with. That's the running back, Fells. That just made the special teams tackle. We've really got to do something about the Heisman voting, and unfortunately there's not much we can do. Throwing, caught Evan Stewart, who's got a couple catches here in this first half. Marv got 20. E. Williams to pass. we got to throw that short. It's knocked out. Big hit by N'Kobe Dean, who's doing his best. To power this Green Bay defense to a win. Blitz coming. It's to Cole Komet. We got to get to the sideline. We do. And Mozzie Smith is hurt on the defensive line. That's the second injury to a defensive tackle to Green Bay in this game. They've lost Kenny Clark. And now Mozzie Smith. Well, we're going to try this play again. Look to throw again. Yep, see, I mean, the linebacker just turns his head every time. He Use one of our timeouts. It's a first down. You just wait for them to come out of that break and then go. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. 44 seconds remaining. We're already in Cardi's field goal range, so all we have to do is just make sure that we don't screw this up. Oh, I think Emeka Ibuka got it to the three. And at the moment, he sure did. On the run, Caleb Williams. It's a perfect spiral on that. Ibuka won, and the two. Ah, you never know with this game. If this gets reviewed, I'll be a little bit scared. And no review. So Williams back to pass. Just going to try and run for it, and he's in. Touchdown Bears. Caleb Williams on the scramble. Well, well, well. Bears extend their lead again. I hope I didn't miss it. Nope, it's good. 31 14. 33 seconds. All of Green Bay's timeouts remain. I'm going to sky kick this, force him to drain a couple seconds off the clock on the return. Fells from the seven. Oh, we missed a stop. Missed a tackle there. Balls on the ground, but it's picked up by Nicobe Dean. Sheesh. They're going to review the fumble. Uh, his ass is on the ground, so that is going to negate the fumble. Why does it say first and goal? First and goal from the 21 yard line. Interesting. Riola to throw. That could have been intercepted. Yeah, second and goal. All right. 
Whatever, whatever you say. Raiola back to pass again. He's got Christian Watson over the middle, and Green Bay calls their first time out. Again, Green Bay gets the ball to start the second half. They're going to run this with Trey Benson. They're just not going to call their... What? Oh, so the game glitched out. The game, the game actually glitched out because they're punting. Wait, they're actually kicking this. What? What is happening? Greg Gray on the return. If we score on this, it's going to feel wrong. I certainly tried. That's halftime. In the NFC Championship. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. As always, what half remains in the battle to see who will take home that George Hallis Trophy and represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's look back to the AFC Championship game held earlier today. And it's the Jacksonville Jaguars who are heading to the Super Bowl as they await the winner of this NFC Championship game. We saw a solid first half out of the man from Tulane, Tajay Spears. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. So Stonehouse to kick off. Bears lead 31 to 14. The second half stands between the Bears and their second straight Super Bowl appearance. But I can't imagine Dylan Raiola isn't going to have some sort of say in this. But a nice performance by the defense. It's a handoff to Trey Benson gaining two. Former Oregon and Florida State man, Trey Benson, second and eight. Yeah, I hadn't seen that one before. Throwing, that's caught, Jaden Reed. First down to the 39. Thought I had a chance at the pick there. Should have just played, played the man instead of the ball. Tried to knock it out. Uh, how's the defensive line just gassed after two plays? Uh, Romeo Dobbs on a wide receiver screen is going nowhere. I mean, you got two corners over there. And you got two wide receivers. Somebody's unblocked. What was the plan? Raiola to throw. Caught. That's the tight end. First catch all day. For the tight end, Hunter Henry. Raiola back to pass on third and four and nearly picked off by Mike Sainra still. Green Bay to punt it away. Greg Gray standing, I think, at his own 10. Murphy got in there and roughed the punter. Okay. I was not usering Sean Murphy, by the way. I didn't even do I didn't even try to make a move. I was trying to switch to returner gray. And you know before even call going for the block, it's a risk. So an automatic first down for Green Bay after our backup. Left outside linebacker just roughed the punter. Hand off Benson. Nice play, TJ Edwards. Edwards has at most two games left in his Bears career. One of the few players that we know we will not retain. Everyone else. Oh, ball! Picked up by Green Bay. A fumble forced. It's third and 14. We're going to call a blitz here. 
See if Raiola can make a play with hopefully not a lot of time to make it. That was some good coverage, and Raiola missed him. Good job uh, by Green Bay picking up that blitz, but now Green Bay to punt it again. To the sideline, looks like a great punt. It's going to be inside the five, out at the three. Well, now we just got to try and uh, pick up this first down, and then we can get our offense moving. Spear, I hit the wrong hole, that's for sure, but it's still going to gain us four yards. Tried to uh, juke out that linebacker, and then there was still a big hole. Off to that right side. Spears just bounced off somebody. I don't know what the hell happened there. Cameron Kinchins makes the tackle. Third and four. He's got way more than two tackles. I don't know why it says it's got two. He's got two. Is there a running back in the formation? Yeah, Spears is back there. Spears on the run. Could not make the, make the safety miss. Fourth and inches. We cannot be stupid enough to go for this. That was real close, but trust our defense. They've been playing well all game. Good coverage on the punt. Maybe. Mike Samer still. Almost had him down. Just got shoved off. Well, Green Bay started playing our game. We pinned the Packers inside the five-yard line twice. And they make the stop and get nice field position because of it. Trey Benson breaks a tackle, breaks another one. First down. There was a backup safety back there that had a chance to meet him at the line and just got, he just whiffed. All right, they see something, but everyone's got a man. First and 10. Play action. Oh, my God. Romeo Dobbs just absolutely roasted Mike Sainra still on that. Sainra still has played a nice game, but the two plays that he hasn't made... have been miserable. Big plays, I think both for scores. Extra point by Green Bay to go down 10. Pick up and good. Two plays, 61 yards. I think I should have just called fullback dive. Went for it on fourth down. Red Gray from the goal line. Catches it on the run, and that was the wide receiver, Marshall, that just sent the blocks right into us. So the Bears start at the 24-yard line. Throwing in the direction of Evan Stewart. I believe this flag is roughing the passer. I felt the vibration of the controller. Roughing the passer on Kenny Clark, who's back in the game. All, already. Bears down to the 36. It's a run of five yards for Tajay Spears. 105 on the game. Now that we've kind of got the run game going, let's see if we can't give some more carries to Sidney Kramer. Eight twenty-four to go. Third quarter. Linebackers blitzing. Will run off here. Williams has space to pick up the first down himself, and he will. Four carries for forty-six yards, and the touchdown for Caleb Williams. 
Last two games, he's played like a guy that's making $40 million a year. The Lions game, not so much. As Sidney Kramer had N'Kobe Dean to beat to break that one. But N'Kobe Dean's eighth tackle keeps that from happening. Oh, oh boy. I could have just kept running. The, the guy trying to make the sack missed. That's what I get for doing the smart thing. Let's play dumb and, dumb and aggressive. Let's play stupid. Third and ten. Oh, trying to throw to Stewart on the slant. That was Yaya Black on the QB hit. Joshua Cardi. On the kick, it's up and good. I keep forgetting about this wind. It's one of the windier games, even though it's only six miles per hour that we played in. Uh, we're not really accustomed to that. Slightly into a left to right wind. Stonehouse kicks away, Bears lead by 13. Fells take a knee, takes a knee in the Super Bowl or bust year. Players will not be able to be retained at the end of this season. Bears, you'd think, are going to take a step back unless we absolutely nail a draft. This is the team we built from the start. There haven't been many changes since, as that's a catch to Hunter Henry. First down, our tackling has gone to shit as of late. We'll use her the other side of the defensive line a little bit. Derek Moore. Benson in the backfield. Play action. Faked me out. Romeo Dobbs to the 33. The Packers are rolling. Dylan Riola has been making some plays here on this drive. Hand off, Benson. Oh, my goodness, the cut. Trey Benson still fighting and nearly picked up the first down, and it goes from bad to worse because our edge rusher and the best one we've got, Montez Sweat, is off the field. However, thankfully on the bench, so you think he'll be able to come back. Second and one. Play action. Throwing to the fullback? Jacob Johnson. Now he, wait, isn't he German? Is it Jacob or Jakob? Oh, pressure is coming, Leonard Taylor. First time we've said his name today. Leonard Taylor with a sack. Just muscle cramps for Montez Sweat. We'll bring him back. Just powered through that right guard there, Leonard Taylor. Second and 18. Quick throw. Nice play. Who was that? Jalen Johnson. Third down and 18. After the huge... Sacked by Leonard Taylor. Riola back to pass. Pressure is coming, and it's Tyreek Stevenson. He wasn't even on a corner blitz. What the hell was he doing? Fourth and 28. They will try and kick a long field goal. Straight away. A 54-yarder, and it's good. 10-point game again. Well, oh, wait, the kicker's back. I just realized, Harvison. Greg Gray to return. Greg Gray had some blocks. His best return of the day to the 29. 
Remember their kicker got injured on the opening kickoff. They've been without him since. First down from the 29, a run for Sidney Kramer. Has blocks. Kramer gains nine. Seven carries and nine yards. They all came on that play. Feels like a good time to take a play action deep shot. Williams scrambling for his life through the line. First down for Chicago. There's no other quarterback that we've played with that I'd be confident in doing that with. Komet came over to make a solid block, but no help on the right side where I tried to go. Get a run for Tajay Spears. Second and 10, just shy of midfield. Guard pulls around. Spear, oh, what a tackle. Who the hell? Oh, that's TJ Tampa. Nice play. First time we've set his name in the NFC title game. Two and a half to go. Third quarter. Oh, no. Well, I think it might be about time to test if we can make it from 65 because we're in that territory right now. 64 for Joshua Carty. I think I made a slight adjustment to the right. I don't know if it's good or not. Oh, what a bomb from Joshua Cardi. 64 yards. Jesus. Pay Joshua Cardi whatever he wants when his contract is up. That's like his 660 plus yarder in the playoffs alone. Just when we've used him. 37-24. And I don't know if it would have been good from 65. I kind of goofed it up. Hand off Benson. Nice tackle there, Tremaine Edmonds. His third. Been quiet for a while. Bears man-to-man -man defense. What we like to run. Riola back to pass. Throwing. Nearly picked off. Jaquan Brisker. 3rd down and 9. Four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Riola to pass. Missing Christian Watson. 20 of 38. For the rookie out of Georgia, Dylan Riola. He might just not be at the point that we need to be afraid of him just yet. As Greg Gray looks to reverse it, N'Kobe Dean missed him. Tried to cut it upfield. Daryl Killings will pretty much only gets special teams time down for Chicago. First down as the Bears lead by 13. Nice cut, Sidney Kramer. First down, still going, gaining about 13 yards. Cameron Kinchin's on it. The stop there. I'm looking for Malik Neighbors on this play. Neighbors in space. First down, Chicago, 351 yards through the air for Caleb Williams. Killing's not able to come back. It's not the biggest loss. Brought down by Fox. Sawyer in motion. Kramer up the gut. Sidney Kramer kind of make made a man miss. The animation war took over, and that's the third quarter. Second and inches. Kramer, first down, barely. 12 carries for Sidney Kramer in this game. 
didn't have a positive one until the third tail end of the third quarter. Now back to throw. Throwing, finding neighbors, cutting up field. Malik Neighbors got popped by Quay Walker. It's been Walker, Nicobe Dean, Rashawn Gary, the big playmakers for this Green Bay defense. And they need him to wake up right now. And they just might. Williams got it away. Don't want Williams taking those types of hits. Especially from Rashawn Gary. Second and ten will go with Kramer. Cutting up field. Nice tackle. Third down and six. Looking for Irv Smith over the middle. Kramer on that curl. Kramer on that curl. Williams hit as he tried to fire. Rashawn Gary again. Fourth and six, so a much shorter field goal. This time for Joshua Carty. Up and good. All right. All right. 40 to 24. 16 point lead. Going to be very hard for Green Bay to come back, but some of their scoring drives have been two plays. And, I mean, the way the, the Green Bay offense has played against this Chicago defense all day has been... I mean, it doesn't, doesn't give you a lot of confidence if you're Green Bay, especially when they're running plays like that. J.J. McCarthy got a vote? Probably from Wo fucking Wojo. He's a Heisman voter. What a throw there by Raiola. Doesn't gain much. Cross his body on the run to a receiver on a drag running away from him. Third down and four. Green Bay needs it. They cannot afford to punt again, and that is T.J. Edwards in the backfield. Montez Sweat is down again, but Green Bay to punt. Whalen sends it in the direction of Greg Gray. Gray, Nakobe Dean again, man, and Evan Young. Surprisingly, we haven't seen a lot of Evan Young today. And I mean, that's a good way. While we, while we are on the on the topic, that's a good way, maybe to stop these voters from being so ridiculous. It's just don't make Heisman voting anonymous. Just just quit with that. I mean, Hall of Fame voting for. At least baseball, I know it's public. Like, if you have you have this privilege to vote, let and you're a media member. Let people know who you vote for. And I mean, we knew going in that Marvin Harrison Jr. wasn't going to win, but I feel like the obvious choice after that was Michael Penix Jr. and Jaden Daniels. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> it's it's bizarre. Uh, I mean, it's it's got to change, but it won't. And I mean, Austin knows this. I mean, as as a Michigan fan, I think Marvin Harrison Jr. was more probably deserving because he's just so clearly better than not only everyone in his position. In, in the entire country. And if he didn't have Kyle McCord throwing him the football all year, oh boy. <clears throat> I, d I no, I was team no Bo Nix. I'm happy if we're going off of that, if we got the finalists that we have here, I'm okay 
with Daniels winning because I was anyone other than Bo Nix, but I really thought it should have been Penix. Um, yeah, no, Bo Nix. You can't have half of your yards come from your receivers. Throw seventy percent of your passes under ten yards and and win that and be considered the best player in college football. You can't do that. No. At least not in my mind. Oh, two FCS teams. Nice. I don't know why my chat box isn't working. What the hell? Anyway. 12.04 to play. Sidney Kramer to run it. I'm running in the direction of Rashawn Gary, which is not a good idea. Second and seven. I'm always on team. No SEC player that got to play against multiple FCS teams. That's fair. More muscle cramps for Montez Sweat. We'll keep him in the game again. Feel like we're going to need him. Second and seven. Lucky to get that pass away. It hit the head of the center. Bo Limmer is Nicobe Dean. Got a hit in on Caleb Williams. Third down and seven. 11 and a half to play. Williams extending. Going to fire it up to a spot, and it's knocked away. Fox again. Their fourth corner has had a game. Just de defending. It's always against these lob throws that he that he just has been making play after play on. Stonehouse trying to pin the Packers deep. Fair catch by Fells at the 17-yard line. Well, Packers offense has to get moving. They've got to cut this to a one-score game here because we're about in territory where we're going to probably want to run it. Start running it out. That's a tackle for loss by Jaquan Brisker as they... I mean, they play, they, they've played. they they've managed this game totally backwards. They didn't really try and get Trey Benson involved here until the end. That's a throw, incomplete. Derek Moore now down for Chicago. On third and 12. An incomplete pass on that last play. And so a D-line of Sweat, Taylor, the and the rookie, Javier Torrance. And Riola stepping up. Jalen Johnson missed him, and Riola able to throw it away. Fourth down and 12. Good coverage downfield. Looked like they just called four verts, and they kept running. Broken ribs for Derek Moore. Not going to be able to come back, but Green Bay punts. He made sure the only guy was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. Whalen again. Greg Gray doesn't have to move a lot. I see TJ Tampa coming in there. Gray broke one tackle. But Evan Young and others in on the stop. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and ten. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> That's what I get for not knowing the play I just called. <laughs> Four tackle for Rashawn Gary. I forgot to put shoe clock on, so we're going to run a few seconds off the clock here. Green Bay offense just lifeless right now. Kramer cuts it up. There's Rashawn Gary again. What did I say before the game? We want to probably run to the right today, and I've done anything but that. Switch spears. On a third and 15, high snap. And the guard, Nate Davis, just decided to drop back like he was trying to get into pass coverage. 
little bit. What? Third down seemed like an obvious passing situation. What? They chose to run it. And then get Fourth and 11. First Bears to punt, but we run some time off the clock. We kick it this way. The wind should help it out. Not sure if I got it very good or not. Fells, fair catch at the 12. Another Chicago injury, Cole Tiller. Down on the play. Thankfully, the injuries today mostly have been depth. Outside of Derek Moore and the two injuries for Montez Sweat. Well, I say injuries. Muscle cramps. Gain of five for Trey Benson. Cole Tiller not able to return. So special teams has been banged up a little bit, but overall, right now we're getting through this game just fine. Good route, Jaden Reed, first down. 22 of 42 for Dylan Riola. Oh, he got me, he bit me in there. Trey Benson ran into Leonard Taylor, gaining only two yards. I don't know why they're still calling runs. You're down two touchdowns and two two-point conversions. You got to go. Riola with time, scrambling, throwing to Benson. And now Javier Torrance is hurt. Bad game to be a defensive end. And Torrance to the locker room. Who does that leave? Sean Murphy, the linebacker. Third down and five. Riola scrambling again. Throwing, and it's picked off. Jalen Johnson. Bro breaks one tackle. Jalen Johnson's second pick of the game. Javier Torrance cannot come back. The fourth interception for Dylan Riola today. Kramer cuts it up the middle, gains four, 16 carries for 40. Bears can start to feel it now. Ah, get over. Neighbors get set. Okay. Do you really have to do a little fancy thing there getting set? I mean, come on. Flag accepted and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still second down. Good lord. Three tight ends to the left. We'll run Kramer that way. He's got blocks. Sidney Kramer first down to the 11. Brian Cook forces him out of bounds, but the clock does not stop. Kramer again. <coughs> Bouncing off of tackles. Gaining only two, but the most valuable thing right now is that that clock is just winding. Tajay Spears in the game on second and eight. Spears, no clear lane. Tried to follow the fullback blasting game. He got in on a linebacker. Third and seven. We'll try and go to the end zone for the dagger here. Can't get a first down without a touchdown, but it's inside the one yard line. Williams, I, uh oh. <laughs> All right, that's fine though. Boy Walker stepped up. Chip shot field goal for Joshua McCarty. Wind down, 12 more seconds. Third or fourth field goal this game for Cardi? Not certain. Auto snap with three seconds on the play clock. Kick is up. Kick is good. It's a 19-point Chicago lead. 
piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming. Well, our there. games have so got dicey guy, towards the end. So who knows? Ryan Stonehouse kicks it away. Fells takes a knee. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Chicago, oddly enough, has been a team that does seem to struggle a little bit with onside kicks. We haven't let another team recover one, but they're always scary as that's caught Christian, or sorry, Romeo Dobbs. First down to the 36, clock moving. Green Bay does have all of their timeouts. That's over the middle. I don't even know who that is. Jaquan Brisker going to try and save a touchdown. He will. Oh, that was Benson. I didn't even look at the number. I just saw a single digit, and I'm like, well, that's not Watson. To the end zone. There's Christian Watson. A three-play Green Bay touchdown. Extra point to go down 12. Not inside of the two-minute warning. I don't know if Green Bay is going to onside kick this because the Madden AI is really bad. They are going to do it, to my surprise. Malik Neighbors is the one that usually gets these, and he usually struggles with them. That's handled by Kobe Prentice. First time his name's been said in this NFC title game. More muscle cramps for Montez Sweat. The poor guy. Well, the first down is going to likely end this game. Kramer. Not even sprinting, just trying to stay on my feet for as long as I can. That'll be the two-minute warning. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Kramer on second and seven. Oh, jeez. Kenny Clark with some nice block shed on that. Timeout Green Bay. We are in Cardi's field goal range. I really should reverse this, but it doesn't matter. Spear. Oh, I ran right into Quay Walker. So a 55-yarder. Cardi should be good. Another long postseason field goal for Joshua Cardi. Outside of that snow game, man, Cardi is automatic, and it doesn't really matter from where. So the lead is 15. Green Bay only one timeout remaining. Fells will take that knee. So the Packers down by 15. A minute 50 to play. And they're in danger of a third straight loss as they come up. A third straight loss? What do you mean? Obviously they won. They're in the NFC title game. Quick throw. Romeo Dobbs has it. And a nice tackle by Jaquan Brisker. No huddle offense for Green Bay. Over the middle, caught by Trey Benson. To the 43. If Green Bay scores on this drive, it's likely going to be 500 yards passing for Dylan Raiola. That's Christian Watson. Raiola back to pass, incomplete. Two Bears defenders there. Fired, and I think Jalen Johnson. Second and ten. Why? T tell me why I just called a blitz. My dumbass. Change out of that. Second and ten. Over the middle. Caught. First down and goal, Romeo Dobbs. Madden two-minute offenses are impossible. 26 seconds to play. Throwing, intercepted. Tyreek Stevenson. The Chicago Bears are headed to the Super Bowl for the second straight year. Green Bay likely going to use 
Their final timeout on this kneel down, but I'm not running a play to chance it. They do. Well, Super Bowl or bust was the way I've described this season. We're going to get a shot at it. Caleb Williams to one final knee. Bears win the George Hallis Trophy as NFC champs for the second straight year. And they are off to Super Bowl 62. And they get to hoist the Hallis Trophy. Unbelievable victory moving on to the Super Bowl. I only hope that these players understand exactly who is behind that trophy. George S. Hallis, one of the creators of this great game of football of ours and creator of the NFL. What an amazing feat.